Hey friends and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Tuesday, March the 19th. It's the first day of spring, which is exciting because spring means a baby's coming this season. Y'all, I'm having a spring baby. Um, so not much longer for that, but it is very cold this morning. It's like in the like low 30s. So it's a very cold first day of spring, but that's okay because after today, it's going to go back to the 70s again. So I've got my sweatshirt on again this morning um anyway i had to come out this morning because Allie had an orthodontist appointment so she just went into that not sure how long this one is the paper usually says whether it's gonna be 15 minutes or an hour pretty sure it's a quick one but i can't remember i've got millie there in the back seat with me we leave here i need to run um she needs to go into Walgreens. She needs some more contact solution. I'm going by the P.O. Box because I went by there yesterday, but she said their packages didn't come in like they were supposed to. So I'm going to go by there again today before I run home. And then um, once I get home, get the kids started on some schoolwork. Ma. Whaty? I'm I love you. <laughs> so anyway, we're just kind of hanging out, waiting for her to come out of her appointment. It's pretty full this morning. Like I had to park somewhere else this morning because there's so many but cars here today. Mama. So her appointment ended up taking much longer than I thought it would and Millie was getting pretty fussy in the car. So we came home, had lunch, got some stuff done. Now we're gonna head back out and do the things that we needed to do and hopefully Millie will nap in the car. That would be wonderful if she would just go ahead and take her nap, which I'm sure she will. She's really tired. Um, when she gets tired like that, she gets fussy. So I think she'll have a good nap. Don't let the beautiful sun fool you. It is cold out here today. We're parked right now. Uh, I've got all the little kids with me. We've got everybody with me except Kylie and Allie. Um, Allie has her last driving class today, so Josh got off early. He's going to take her to that at 3.30. She also has her um, driving test today to get her driver's license. So all of that's going down today, but we had to leave. Holly has violin. So we're on our way to violin, um, but we have like just a few minutes before she goes in. So we're parked for a minute. Waiting for her to go inside. Last night, Josh took over dinner. He made cowboy baked beans, the cowboy barbecue baked beans, which he's made before, and they're really good, with cornbread and mac and cheese. So dinner was good last night, and I didn't have to cook anything, which was nice. Um, so he took over that, and it was it was delicious. And then tonight for dinner, on Wednesday nights for church, we usually eat out. It's just easier for us to get there on time, or we have something in the crock pot. But the way it works out today, Allie does not get out of class until 6.30, so it's going to put us late for church. Um, so we're definitely grabbing something out, like probably Chick-fil-A or something like that tonight. Get some eggs. You want to come with me? Got your drink? We have been back home for a little while now. We just got finished eating. I came out here to check to see if we have any eggs, which I'm sure we do. We always have several, like, I don't know, we get like eight to ten a day now, I think. And Millie wanted to come with me. She's still drinking her Chick-fil-A drink. Oh, wee. Oh, wee. Let's oh, go. My. Oh, I see lots of eggs. I see lots of eggs and a chicken. Do we have lots today? Yeah. Hey, Mama. <laughs> Thank you. Mama. Woo. Oh, look at that one, y'all. Look at that dark brown, beautiful one. That one is so pretty. Ah. Oh, 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 let Mommy do it, okay? Oh, my. Oh. Oh my chicken. Pretty blue one. Oh, it won't be long one. until we can bring the chicks out here. The chicks are getting big. One more is there any more? No. Is that all of them? This. Yeah. I hold it, Mama. She wants to carry. Can we let a two-year-old carry an egg basket? We shall see. <laughs> you got it, don't you? Let me grab it. Is it too heavy? Uh, I got it. You got it. She's got it. Come on. All right, so we're here now to pick Mama. Allie up from her driving class and her test. I'm Yay. excited, nervous to see if she passed. She should be coming out any second. I passed. Yay! <laughs> oh. All right, so it's the next day. We are finished up with our school. The kids went outside to play. While it's quiet, I wanted to show y'all something real quick that I get so many questions on. I have gotten questions over on Instagram and here on YouTube about the Bible study that we're using for school. Um, I'm going to show it to you, tell you where it came from, and it, I even have a $5 off 
coupon link just in case you're interested so i'm gonna show that to y'all real quick all right so here is what we are using it is scripture memory journals um this is by not consume ministries i've actually ordered their bible study at the beginning of the school year we finished that so now i have another one about do not fear um, but we're actually doing that one as a family in the evenings um just as a group i have like the teachers one that i read from and then we read scripture from that but this is what they use in the mornings um, before they start any of their daily lessons and they have it for youth junior uh, primary pre-k so my youth ones um i got those for my three oldest girls my three teens but then i have this junior one is for my younger kids so here is just an example um you kind of break down the scripture each day you fill in the blanks and then eventually it asks you to let me show you so here is where they copy the scripture again and then on this one which one of my girls already did this page today um they ask you to fill out the scripture without looking so to see if you can memorize it by heart since you've been memorizing it all week long this is day five so and she did really really good with it she actually only left one line out when it was time to fill this in so it really does help with memorizing that scripture for the week so like we just started this because we recently just got it so the scripture for this week is proverbs chapter 4 verses 23 through 26 and it's just repetitive through the week until you memorize it and then you write it so that one is the junior notebook and this one here is the primary so this one's actually natalie and it's still a little bit um it's more for her better for copy work than it is anything else because i read the scripture to her i let her draw little pictures if she wants to in there so i just read them to her and then um over here i fill in the blanks for her and then she takes her pen or pencil or whatever and goes to these blanks and she fills it out herself she just takes what i filled in and what's already written there and then she writes it over here on the right side and it's helping her memorize it as well but it also has a little word bank down here just in case your child's older she's a very young six-year-old so i don't make her do this part i just get her to do the copy work which i think she's doing great with but i wanted to show that to y'all because i've gotten lots and lots of questions when i show a little sneak peek of us doing our bible study or our journaling in the mornings um, and like I said, I have a link down below and it's a $5 off coupon if you want to go and order anything off their website. Everything on their website is really awesome. This isn't sponsored or anything. Um, this is just something that I have found that works for us and we really enjoy it. And over here, I have a roast in the crock pot that I put on early this morning. It smells so good. It's just a roast in here with beef broth and then I put some basil leaves over the top. So I'm going to serve this with um, broccoli and rolls, I believe. I may do one more side, not sure, but it's a really big roast. There go. Okay. Go. Good job. All right, y'all, so it is dinner time now. I got the roast out of the crock pot. I've got some fries back here that just came out of the oven. I've got broccoli in here. Lots of broccoli. And then over here in this pot, I'm doing some brown gravy um, to go over our roast. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. That's the last thing that I have to do. And dinner will be finished up for the night. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take the roast out of here and transfer it to this little casserole dish and then just drizzle the brown gravy all over the top. So it's the next day. Dinner was really, really good last night. Like delicious. Everything got gone. Usually we have roast to put up for the next day. Not last night. It got gone. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show y'all this new hairbrush that I got because like, I don't know. There is just something like, I don't know what the trick is to this hairbrush, but I wish I would have known about it years ago with having all of these girls and their long hair and tangles. Um, this is not sponsored or anything. I am going to message the company, company though, to see if I can get y'all a coupon code. That's how much I love these hairbrushes. I'll try to get you a discount on them. It's called Tangles Be Gone. I actually saw a friend using it on Instagram and she was like just raving about how awesome it was. And I'm like, I've tried so many hairbrushes. They still pull tangles. I'm like, but you know what? Since you have a coupon code, I can get it, um, at a discount. I'm going to order it. So that's what I did. And y'all... 
I want more than one now so that we can, all the girls can have one. I brush their hair and honestly, they do not cry anymore with me pulling their tangles. Cause like usually after their bath, I'll spray their detangler in their hair and then I'll brush it out. And normally they're like, oh, you're pulling my hair. But with this one, nobody says that. And I am not joking. Like I would not tell y'all that if it was not true. I don't know if it's the shape of this hairbrush or what it is. And there you can see it's called Tangles Be Gone. And it is literally <laughs> the truth. Cause I have all these girls and all this hair to brush. So this, this thing has just been awesome. And they're not like very expensive. I think I paid for like 14 or $15 for this hairbrush, which I know you can go to Walmart, you can get one for $5. That's what we always do is get the cheap hairbrushes. But when I saw her talking about this one, I had to try it out for myself. It works. I even use it on my hair. It just makes my hair feel more silky and smooth. Anyway, I wanted to share that with y'all just in case you're like me and you have little girls or you have hair yourself that you need to brush out and you don't want to pull tangles all the time. Give this one a try. They have in different colors. I just went with the black one just to try it. But like I said, I might go back and order another one. I'm also going to message them and try to get you a coupon code so that you can get a discount like I did. Um, and if I do get that discount code, I will link it in the description box down below for y'all. But anyway, I need to go ahead and end this vlog out. I'm going to go ahead and start a weekend vlog. Today's Friday. I hope that y'all enjoyed hanging out with me in this vlog. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for you today. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll talk to you in the comments. Bye, friends.